Hello, three commas traders. My name's Jared. Today, I'll review how to optimize your smart trades here on three commas. If your smart trades stay in deals longer than you'd like, or maybe you just want to make the trade more profitable, this video is for you. Without further delay, let's get right to the three commas website. Now that we're on the three commas site, let's go over to the smart trades section. We're going to make a couple of smart trades according to the charts data to help give you an example of what you're able to do with the smart trade section. We're not going to go over all the settings in this video as we already have videos on these settings. If you'd like to check that out, I have placed links in the video's description. If you don't know how to use the smart trade section, I would highly suggest learning how to use this section first. Also, keep in mind that the examples shown in this video are purely for educational purposes and should not be copied. Moving on, we have chosen a market and a pair. We're going to go ahead and enable the take profit and stop loss option. Now that these are enabled, we're able to see these steps on the chart. We can click and drag the lines in order to physically place these levels on the chart. For the Bitcoin slash USDT market, we can see that the most recent high was about 31,000 USDT per Bitcoin. Since this market looks bullish, we can place the target profit near or at the high, since we can expect it to recover to that level in the near future. Since this trade would have the potential to keep growing, I'm going to enable the trailing take profit option. This option could allow my trade to close for a higher value since when the take profit is hit, it will not close unless it drops the set percentage you enter here. I have put an article in the description that goes over this setting if you'd like to read more about it. You never want to use a deviation that would be close to or above your take profit percentage. A trick I sometimes like to use is to take the last two highs and compare the distance. This is what I would set my deviation at. This would be negative 2.5, so this is what I'll enter. If you're using a stop loss, you would be able to set this depending on the risk you're willing to take. I'm not going to use this for this market, since I personally only expect Bitcoin to rise in the future. If you're using an altcoin though, the stop loss option would be a great option to keep in mind. For this case, we're going to want to make the purchase for Bitcoin as soon as the trade is made, so we're going to keep it as it is. Lastly, I'm going to enter the amount of USDT I want to spend on the Bitcoin. We're going to keep it at a market order so it enters a deal as soon as possible. We're going to overlook the settings and make sure these are the settings I'd like to use. If you're happy with them, click create trade. And there we are, the smart trade is made. Next up, we're going to make a smart trade on the ADA slash USDT markets. If we go to a larger time frame on this pair, we can see that it hasn't been this low of a price in about a year. This is a good sign that it might have a reversal coming in the future. We're going to enable the take profit and stop loss and move to the chart. We're going to set our stop loss to the lowest point for this example since we're working with an altcoin. I'm also going to enable the stop loss timeout. This will prevent my deal from closing too quickly if it only touches the stop loss level and recovers. I'll keep it at 300 seconds for this example, but for now, we'll keep this disabled till the end. Now that we have a good idea of the stop loss level, let's swap to a different time frame and find the best entry price. Using the RSI indicator, I can decide if the token is overbought or oversold. It's decently close to being oversold, and we would like to purchase this token ASAP so we will have it as a market order for this current level. If we notice the risk to reward ratio when having the take profit set at a relative amount to the stop loss, it isn't an ideal level here. We're looking for at least a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio. For this example, we're going to increase the target profit amount to a previous resistance level. We're going to go ahead and set this to 0.3185 USD per ADA. This looks like a strong line of resistance along with enough distance to make the trade worth it if made according to the risk to reward information below. Again, you shouldn't copy these settings shown in our videos as these are for educational purposes only. Once you're happy with the settings you place, you can go ahead and start the smart trade. Moving over to the smart cover section, the same rules apply except you're making a short trade. We'll use the Ethereum chart. We will select a level to sell the Ethereum tokens. Since we're already at a decently low price, we do not want to sell them now. If we drag the sell price to the last line of resistance we'd like to sell it, this can trigger in the future when the price is hit. You can then move the take profit option to a closer line of resistance to the current price. Even if the trade occurs in your sleep a year from now, it will make the sell and repurchase the Ethereum at the level you select today. Once you're happy with these settings, you can go ahead and click Create Trade. 
And there we are. We were able to make three smart trades on three commas successfully. That will wrap up this quick video on optimizing your smart trades here on three commas. If you have any questions or concerns, our support team is available 24-7 and can be found on the 3 Commas website. You can also find more helpful sources in this video's description. Thanks so much for watching and learning with us, and as always, happy trading!